Do you rise to the Pledge of Allegiance? No. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll call the meeting to order. Roll call. Mayor Westergaard. Yes. Camp. Yes. Muller. Yes. Frank. Yes. Beckman. Yes. Waltman. Yep. More public forum. Consent agenda. Motion to approve. The only thing that I would have um, a recommendation, and I don't have anything pending for the Board of Adjustment, so this could really wait until the next meeting, but I did get an application for the Board of Adjustment if you wanted to amend the agenda and put that on there. Um, if not, I mean, it can, I don't have anything pending, so I guess it doesn't, it, I don't know that it's a big rush, but that's up to you guys. Just we'll have it. We'll have the end. Uh, well, eight, yeah. six, between six and seven, or? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. The consent agenda with the addition of the uh, board. I'll make that motion second. Roll call. Frank? Yes. Waltman? Yep. Beckman? Yes. Muller? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Resolution 2353. We're just changing the date, basically. Yeah. I mean, that's really, in a sense, what you're doing um, so that we can have time to have the council be able to review the plans properly and then um, get the bid packets out. So um, I'm supposed to have plans. Bob told me hopefully today, tomorrow, I hope, um, so that then we can look over them and um, then we would set the public hearing for the for a January meeting, like the January, I think the 15th meeting, I think that's the date, um, in, uh, on the 18th of December. But, I mean, we can also have, you're going to be meeting pretty regularly for um, budget, so, I mean, we can probably set it for just about any time that everybody's going to be available. The motion to approve resolution? So moved. Second? I'll second. So, I'll we'll, we'll have some discussion. Um, so, we're rescinding this resolution because we ran this through two weeks ago or four weeks ago. Is that what we're doing? No, we changed the bar location. Yeah, because yeah. we rammed it through. Well, because know. nobody had a chance to review it, is that correct? I just want to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm correct on that. Well, if, I mean, if that's, if, if that's that how you want to... Because the plans we voted on not what we approved, right? Is that right? Right, because we okay. changed... We're, we're changing the bar location, so, I mean, yes. Yeah, we and took so. some of your recommendations then. Well, yeah, I appreciate that. And, and, you know, we got the plans to us, and I wasn't very happy about it, but we get the plan, whether Whatever project it is, I don't care what project it is. But I don't appreciate getting plans at 620 or 520 for a 530 meeting on something we're supposed to vote on that night. And then it got voted on, and then you look at them, and it's like, this is not what should be voted on. It should have been delayed. Um, I just want to make sure that's clear. I don't care what project it is. I don't care if it's a street project, a community center project. I don't care what project it is. Street sleeper, whatever. We've got to make sure we take our time. This is a very important project for the city of Lakeview. We can't just bring up boom, boom, boom. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. I just want to make sure that that's clear and that's what we're doing, and then we will have ample time to review these plans in case anything else needs to be changed. Is that right? You should be able to, yes. Because we're going to be held accountable for it. Yep. Roll call. Walden? Yes. Second? Yes. Muller? Yes. Frank? Yes. Beckman? Yes. Okay. We have a real estate contract. Somebody read it? Yeah, I mean, the contract is the contract. I mean, I'm not overly, I mean, I guess, you know, you guys, in a sense, kind of pretty much approved, the, you know, it's a pretty cut and dry contract of selling the little triangle piece. Um, there's a couple of questions on the development agreement. Um, and Dave wrote this up basically in the idea that. We don't necessarily have to have a development agreement with duds and suds for the building itself just because we have a, I mean, what we're selling off is a little triangular piece. But he wrote up one just because that's kind of been the, the common practice that you guys have done. Um, just to kind of outline the reason of why we're selling the little triangle piece is basically for them to build um, what they want to build. Um, and then it comes into, you know, the idea that they would have availability for 
Um, there's a timeline, so shall begin the development construction by March 15th of 2024 and finish the development as to be operating um, by March 15th of 2026. That gives them, you know, basically two years to try and get things going. I think they have intents to have it done well before that. Um, have they read this? No, they haven't. I haven't sent it to Andrew yet. But that's why I wanted to get go up by with you, and then you know, if you guys approve the reading of it, then I would send it to him, you know, and go from there. Um, that they would have, you know, the business improvement grant available to them, a revolving loan fund um, available to them, which is kind of, you know, one kind of washes out the other, and then the ability for a tax abatement. Um, is there anything in there that if they don't develop it and try and sell it, they cannot resell our ground with it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I did. Um, I didn't hear didn't really you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there, there was something in there. Yeah, and I can make sure that Dave has that included in it. Yeah, that I, the triangle piece basically becomes <clears throat> null and void. Is that what you're saying? Right. Yeah. Any more questions? There, there's dates that are. Are they correct? I mean, you got December first of twenty three, which is already passed. Right, and and I, you know, and I can I can adjust those dates. This is just basically, you know, a draft. Yeah. Okay, and then on the on the very last page at the bottom, you got Milton Bond names instead of the subject. And the, yeah, and that was B. I think that was in the email. It's not on the email. It's on mine. It's on mine. Yeah, it's on mine. Under where is it? The, the very last For the notary. state of Iowa. Yeah, the notary part. It's got Scott listed. Oh, oh you mean on the contract? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I will catch that. Yeah, That's Scott on Scott's the the sales. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay, he just probably did not. He probably used one he had previously. Yeah. 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 For Milton yeah. Domain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just. Yep. Yep. I'll make sure he gets that change. That's fine. Yeah, I just was the development agreement. I guess was you know the biggest thing is if you guys were okay with that development agreement, and I'll have him make sure that the triangle piece would revert back to us if they for some reason did not construct what their plans are and go from there if that's what you want. We have a motion to approve that. I so move. I'll second it. Roll call. Walden? Yes. Waller? Yes. Frank? Yes. Beckman? Yes. Thank Yes. And you have a board member? Um, and then I received an application for Randy Schulte to be on the Board of Adjustments. Um, he's the only one that I've got. Um, it says, I'm interested in serving on this board because I would like to become more involved in the community. And then what particular strengths would you contribute to the board? Um, I built several bu buildings on our farm, so I know a little bit about construction and regulation. So. We have a motion to approve Randy. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Roll call. Frank? Yes. Beckman? Yes. Walton? Yep. Duncan? Yes. Muller? Yes. A motion to adjourn. So moved. Second? Yo. Um, I think before, I think there's a couple things, I mean, I didn't put down reports here, but I think that um, Jason wanted to say a few things. I don't have to. I don't have any agenda, but you can. Thanks, Brent. Yeah, thank you. I'll make it short and sweet. Uh, we swept some streets, we took the banners down, we tarped the roof on Broughton. Uh, Lake Street manhole will actually start tomorrow. Uh, the casting is done, it will be delivered tomorrow, and SCE will be on site to bust out the concrete and start to do what they need to do. As soon as we're done with that, they're suspecting they should be done and ready to go by the end of Wednesday. We're going to go over to Provost, fix that fire hydrant. We'll have the hole opened up for them already. They come in, they do the fire hydrant and the valve and teach us that. Then we'll have that done, and then they're going out to the wastewater plant to finish their issues out there. Um, the only thing that's going to be the holdup on the punch list for the wastewater plant is the roof guy. He's still waiting on the materials to come in. I guess they got back ordered on him again. So until the roofing materials come in, we're kind of at a standstill on that aspect of it. So um, 
but those things should be getting done this week. Uh, we made poles to the poles that hold the docking down at the campground were like three foot off the ground. We're afraid somebody was going to hit them, run into them, trip over them. So we made them like five foot tall and put reflective tape around them so nobody should be able to hit them. It's just PVC pipe stuck over top of them to make it a little bit more visible. Um, we found three houses that three of our new constructions that were not having didn't have the water meters installed. We got those installed. However, we have a list of 46 houses that have water meters that are not reading. Um, it's they're either reading slow enough that the earth's not catching it because the earth's still reading and we're getting a reading out of it, but it's so slow going through it that the earth's not registering it, if that makes sense. Usage. So, and we're out of meters. So I ordered 60 meters because we got to get that fixed. That's our cash register. That's what pays our bills. Um, it's not cheap but we don't have much of a choice in the matter if we'd like to continue to. And those will be a good winter project. To Correct. To Correct. 60, 60 meters is better than 43 not paying. Correct. Um, and like I said, I ordered 60 that way when the next round <laughs> stops working, we have some that we can go do them. Uh, currently, we don't have any. Um, and we just gave one out today that yeah, what, I'm they're out. Find, I mean, what they're finding is the meter bases, they're, they're of calcium they're, they're all plugged up so they aren't you know. so I, don't think, I think when we both put them in the life expectancy it was like 10 years 10 to 12 years I think somewhere somewhere. Mm -hmm. and we're, we're, we're hitting the life we expectancy we put them in yeah. in 2013 <laughs> yeah so I think that's pretty close to what we're we're doing because that's what and that's what they said a lot of times they'll get that build up and it just yeah. goes to hell and that and I've had to switch companies. We normally would carry ba uh, Badger meters, but I can't get a single Badger meter base until February. And I can't, we can't continue to go that long with the construction and stuff that we have going on. We switched to a Delphi is the brand name of it. It's actually $100 cheaper. And it's actually from the same guy that sells us our Ertz anyways. So instead of buying from here and here and trying to make it all work, now we're getting it all from here. Um, and it's still about a hundred bucks a meter cheaper. So how long are you going to keep on hand? I'm going to try to keep at least 20 on hand okay. uh, Especially knowing where we're sitting at in our cycle. Exactly. That's what I was just going to say <clears throat> More more is better than less right now. Yeah, yeah. we'll eventually use them somewhere and we're going to use up the stock of what we do have currently um, I don't have any meter bases, but I do have a box of Ertz so we can take our earths and adapt it to this meter. So we're going to use what we have before we get brand new of everything. There, I don't see any reason to keep a box just sitting around and not getting used. So, so uh, replacing these meters, are the customers going to get charged for these meters again? Mm -mm. Well, they didn't get charged the first time. You know, we put the new meters in everybody's house at our cost. But, you know, it's not like the meter broke or they allowed it to break or freeze. That would be the only time we'd charge right. somebody. Mm -hmm. In this case, you know, it got clogged up, so we... It's at no fault of the homeowner. And, and you pay for the second meter in your right. house. Right. 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 Yep. right. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. And like I said, the, they save us a bunch of money on the long run because we usually had two or three guys reading meters and it would take a couple of days when it I, I they used to I, walk with that book a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. So I mean, you know, so now you got guys that don't longer have to go walk and they can do other things because there's plenty of this plenty of, stuff, plenty yep. of stuff to do. So um do we know how long these new ones and these ones weren't working? I mean how did we catch this is what I'm getting So at. when they do the meter read, uh when we do our meter read eighteenth of every month. Mm -hmm. The 18th every month it sends out a list and when me being new here I didn't know what the list was uh, for a while and then we talked about it so uh, we're working on it right now and some of these have been on the list for a while um, couple months couple months well the good job catching it um, but we're we're working on it um, mm -hmm. we'll get there and it's all we can do is proceed forward and be better uh,
there's two, like the last council meeting I brought up that we discussed, the system that we currently use, the one portion of it is going obsolete and it's going to another one. We got a quote on the new program. It's approximately $8,000. I want to say it was like $7,900. Um, nothing would change on what we do. It's just how it goes into the system for Ms. K and Ms. Tammy to do their billing side of it. Correct? The cloud thingy. Mm -hmm. um, there are other systems out there that I'm working on getting the quotes for uh, through metering technology and band meter, which are the two companies that we've been using to where it automatically sends it to Kay's computer every day. We no longer have to drive around and read this stuff. They're kind of expensive, but until I have the actual quotes, I don't want to throw numbers out and be way off on that. But that is something that the council can consider if they would like to later on. Um, it just saves time and easy, I guess, from what I'm told. <laughs> but that's, so that's why I was such a... Mm -hmm. I think it's easier to catch leaks then too because... Yeah. It it, it's instantaneous. Yeah, it doesn't just come in once a month. If you wanted mm -hmm. to, you can go out comes, and check. It, yeah, it comes down. It can come down up to about like four times a day. Right. If you want to check somebody's usage, that's high. I'm no computer guy, as well as you guys know. But would that would that system like that send up a red flag that this particular area is mm -hmm. using more water than yeah. than yeah. it should be? I mean, that would yeah. be all. Yeah. Yeah, and we catch it before the. I mean, we. Going to something like that, you could potentially catch it instead of waiting until the next, you know, the next meter read of somebody on, you know, two days after the, the first read and then they had a water leak and they used, would we have one of those out at 64,000 gallons or something mm -hmm. like that, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it, it's expensive. It, it would be something that we would probably look at maybe incorporating when we do the water plant upgrade or something like that because it's a fairly expensive process. Sure. And we, it would also do the electrical side of it too. So. You, there's some things out in the countryside that we would have to do to make sure that it, you know, would read all the electrical, you know, because you, yeah. we'd want to have it do it for everything. So. I don't think there's nothing wrong with getting information about it. Absolutely. So. Um, we cleaned some equipment. The skid hoe and the uh, skid hoe, <laughs> skid loader and the backhoe are both back working properly. No longer any faults on them. So that's a good thing. Um, per the chloride compliance, or, or chloride for the wastewater side, we started bypassing the nitrate filters a little bit, which will help us on our salt use, chloride. Um, we're still tinkering with it. It's a slow process. We're not going to just ramp that thing open and then get in violation on nitrates. So it's a slow process. We slowly turn the valve, not even a quarter of a turn, about every three days. And when we start to see our numbers come up, that's when we'll stop and figure out where we need to be with it. It's not changing the quality of the water. It's not hurting us on anything. We're still going to meet all state and every requirement that we are required to. Um, the brush pile, as you guys all heard, somebody dumped a piano. Um, <laughs> worked with band meter on getting pricing. Um, C CTI was supposed to be here in September to start those point repairs that you guys approved well before I started. They kind of pushed us off. They will be here Thursday to start after I called and hounded them to find out. It'd be the point repairs over by 30 acres going to the red manhole and then outlet 20 going out the point repairs in the sewer line. Um, I worked on getting some quotes and figuring out which equipment I think um, we need to start rotating and figuring out a plan on how to do this to where it doesn't break the bank and we do little bits every so year and so we can start to budget ahead for all this. Um, did some shutoffs. Uh, ice house siren still not working. This siren out here has now stopped working. Power Solutions from Alta should be here Wednesday to look at both of them and fix them both because we have no clue why they just all of a sudden, this one out here especially, just stopped. Uh, can't tell you why and it's above any of our expertise. 
So we'll figure out why those are working are not working. Um, fix some plugins out at the campground for the displays. Fix the Christmas lights on Main Street that weren't working. We had the bucket truck fixed um, and hooked up a couple services and built some risers and changed out some street lights. All in a short nutshell. I got one suggestion. Some cold patch repairs on 3rd Street. Starting on it tomorrow. It's already on the schedule. Thank you. Did them a couple times. <laughs> In front of uh, Jane and Crusher's place? Yeah, yeah, that and then up around by John Quinn, there's a oh, yeah. small patch. Cricket and Lester has a day off tomorrow. He spends the day with his daughter, um, and he had a birthday holiday to use anyways. So uh, it will be Cricket and myself out there doing that tomorrow. That's our plan of what we're going to be doing. Okay. Um, so. Otherwise, everything looks good, I think. It's not doing a good job. Appreciate it. Journey. Yep. We're trying. That's all yep. we can do. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. So moved. Enjoy the basketball. Oh.